Meet a master who adds years to his pieces for the home. Uh, once you find what you really like to do, you never work the rest of your life. And a tile artist who brings a touch of Africa to this master bedroom. And later, he hopes that homeowners will walk all over his finest work. Meet them all today on Modern Masters. In the Rocky Mountains, just 35 miles from the well-known resort town of Vail, Colorado, lives a hidden treasure. Like somebody said once, uh, once you find what you really like to do, you never work the rest of your life. I think it's, it's a little bit true with me, you know. I, I don't feel like I'm working, you know. Master woodcrafter Rudy Newmeyer has been bringing beauty from wood for more than 40 years. He creates furniture, cabinets, ornaments, and custom-designed homes that reflect the rich essence of his favorite material, wood. Well, that's really beautiful smell. Anybody who likes wood loves the smell of wood, right? Today, he's applying one of his master techniques to this door, designed for a client's home. Now this is your traditional hand plane. The surface comes to life. It uh, creates a certain softness to the surface. The process is known as antiquing, a traditional way of making something new look hundreds of years old. Once the surface is hand-planed and the piece constructed, Rudy lets nature have a hand in aging the door. How do I create that? I throw it in the river. So like this door was in the river for a few days. And that helps the surface to break down. and gives it that natural buff, that natural polish. You know. Let's carry it home. Rudy started working in wood in his native Austria. Even as a child, he knew his life's work when he found it. I always knew as a kid already that it could not be like office type of work or, or I could have never been a banker or so, you know. I had to do hands-on creation, you know, building things and, and, and forming them and, and shaping them, you know. That I knew right away that nothing else will, will happen for me. You know? The technique of antiquing gives this master the chance to speed up aging that would naturally take place over hundreds of years of wear. With the surface prepared, Rudy starts by chalking, then painting a thistle design. This door is part of a room that he's already designed for a homeowner. I love painting. I mean, as a kid already, I did a lot of paintings, and paint does a lot to a product, you know? When he's completed the antiquing process, each brush stroke will look like it was hand-painted by a master over a hundred years ago. But I think that's what makes it beautiful, is it's really loose, and it's one of a kind, you know, because every brush stroke on the next door is going to be different again. Antiquing is one of Rudy's specialties. He enjoys the opportunity to add a sense of history to an otherwise new home. Just give it a little tan here. When you look at something old, it speaks more to you, I think. You can spin off in ideas of what could happen, what could have happened to the piece. Uh, what did it go through, you know? With the design painted and dry, Rudy begins to add some years to the door. 
He does much of his work with sandpaper and carefully applied pressure. It's very simple. And simplicity is usually the most beautiful, I mean, to my eyes at least, you know. Rudy thinks about the way a door is used and wiped clean as he skillfully sands years off the wood finish. It just now is about 128 years of wiping. <laughs> With the finish dulled, Rudy adds a layer he calls grunge. It's like adding years of dirt that the door would have acquired. So we will see what the next step brings us. Stay away from the building as much as you can. Outside, Rudy has just two more steps before the antiquing is complete. I'm going to put on here one of my secret solutions. Rudy brushes on his secret solution, then sprinkles some barn dust. The final touch might seem dangerous. And then I seal it in. The heat from the flame singes the barn dust and the finish to create the final aged layer. So isn't that beautiful? I mean, it really came to life, right? It's this process right of here. bringing a new door to life by adding the scars of history that Rudy enjoys. I love it. And the many homes that have been graced by Rudy's antique wood and other designs stand in tribute to his master's work. I am really attached to any type of materials. When you take a house and you can create it out of wood and stone and metal and, and leather and, and those things, you know. It's just, it's just automatically turns beautiful to my eyes, you know.